Dory Dog, Dory Dog. Today I'm so happy because um, special day with Sack Bassman. <laughs> Yay, it's having good day. Sack Bassman, <laughs> welcome to Dory Dog, Zach. <laughs> What do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> it's you! <laughs> okay, Zach, how are you today? I'm good. Uh, because? <laughs> because of me? <laughs> but of course! <laughs> Spend time with you, the day has been so great. At least uh, you showed Thank me around. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, how long are you be as the best man? Well, I have been a bassman. The name bassman first yes. comes from the word bass guitar. Bass guitar. So yeah, I, I started calling myself bassman as a stage name. Yeah. So I have been a bassman for now four years. Okay. Professionally. Professionally. Yes. Okay. But deep inside, maybe eight years. You know. Yeah. Eight years. It's yeah. a long time ago. <laughs> I know. You were not born. <laughs> I'm already born. I know, I know. <laughs> so, as a musician, especially as a bass player, mm -hmm. are you learned um, music start from um, younger or like um, three years old, four years old, five years old? Or I started playing uh, or I started doing music when I was the age of three. My dad is a pianist. Yeah. He's one of the best pianists in Kenya I have known personally. Okay. So, whenever he played in church, I used yeah. to go and grab his leg and like, I want to learn this, I want to learn this. Ah. So, he said, okay, you have interest in this, okay, we will do something. So, whenever he taught me, he used to lock the door and uh, teach me piano. No eating, no nothing, no doing anything. What? Till I get whatever he's teaching Seriously? me. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, and remember, I was three years old. Three years so, old. Yeah, so basically my musical journey has begun since I was three years old. Oh, yes. that's nice. Yeah. Okay, so can't you tell us how you got your music career in music industry? Oh yeah, so when I was in high school, I honestly didn't, which is a bad thing, but I didn't like education. When the teachers taught me chemistry, I was like, no, I just want to do music. Mm. I just want to do play guitar, do something, mm -hmm. you know. So after high school, I went to campus. Mm -hmm. I I also did uh, an online uh, online music course yeah. with Berkeley School of Music in the US. Yeah. So I was learning the bass guitar. Now that's where the name bassman came. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I developed an interest in this uh, instrument. Yeah. So I, you know, everybody who goes to Berkeley, Berkeley is one of the best schools yeah, in the yeah. world for music. You just have a career after that. Yeah, yeah. So when I came off uh, school, when I went back home, um, I saw there is a need of diversity for our industry mm. and everything. So I joined a band, yeah, uh, which used to play at a beach hotel. So that's basically how my musical career began. And slowly by slowly, I ventured into the mainstream music scene in Kenya, mm. playing for mainstream artists and everything. Yeah. yeah. So my career just kicked off. Okay, so do you remember your first uh, your first performance uh, as a as a musician, and then how do you feel after perform for Ooh. first time? It's good you asked. <laughs> <laughs> my first performance was crazy. Mm. First of all, uh, my first actual performance was in front of a very big crowd. Okay. Around 6,000 people. Mm -hmm. I was playing for an artist in Kenya. That was my first major performance. So I got on stage and I realized, okay, it's really happening. Like, these are too many people here watching me play. Yes. So uh, I'd say I, I kind of froze. Mm -hmm. I got frozen and I got afraid and scared and nervous. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah. sweating all over yeah, or yeah, everything, yeah. yeah. But after the first song, I guess, mm -hmm. you just realize that this is exactly every, the, the way I do it every day in the bedroom, ah. practicing. It's, it's just the same thing. The difference yeah. is there is eyes looking at me. Yes. So I'd say it was a mixture of emotions, mm -hmm. excitement, mm -hmm. a bit of... Uh, you know, shaky, shaky emotions yeah, and everything, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was actually good. 
it was actually a good experience for me. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Okay, so um, as long as a best play, uh, what's the most epic performance? Well, I have been to very many stages, mm. but I think so far the best stage I've ever stepped on was the Dubai Expo. On a musician's perspective, it's not even about the crowd, it's not about anything. It's about the music you're playing yeah. first. You have to have a connection with it. Yeah. Second, it's about the stage you're playing in. Yeah, yeah. The equipment you're using. Yeah, yeah. So for me, Dubai Expo was one of the, let's say, most epic performance mm -hmm. for me. Because I got a chance to, there you have everybody from everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. You have different musicians looking at you. Yeah. Like it was just epic, epic, epic. epic. I loved it, yeah. trust me. And uh, let's say after Dubai Expo, performing at Q's, that place is amazing. Yeah. That place is epic. Same, same way, I told you, it's just about how your crowd, the music you're playing, it's just how you feel about whatever you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, so those are so far my two epic performances. Yeah. Yes. And then for Dubai Expo, it's a lot of people coming exactly. here. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every day a new crowd. Every day someone asks for your Instagram. Every day. So yeah. it's just nice it's nice that's right yes. okay so tell us tips and tricks to get be a good guitar guitar well practice practice and practice, practice and practice there is no <laughs> other way there's no shortcut in being a good musician you yeah. have to practice not unless you were born with a guitar in your arms yeah but if not you have to practice yeah yes Okay, as a best player, who has musician that want you to collaborate? Which musician I want to collaborate? Yeah. You. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, as I said, music is about the connection you make with people. Okay. Music is emotions. Yeah. Music is what you feel towards people. Yeah. So the shortest while I've interacted with you, I feel you're a very kind person, outspoken. With a be very beautiful personality. Please, so, please, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> so it got me thinking, yeah. what if I'm on stage with you? Because off stage we are clicking, we are having good emotional turmoil and everything. So what if I get a chance to actually share a stage with you? That would be epic. Just do it. Trust me. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so, but to be honest, uh -huh. I feel grateful when you say that and then feel blessed and then we can oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you feel performing in Dubai? What's the difference with your, with your uh, other journey? Well, Dubai is a very diverse market for music okay. in general because uh, every day Dubai is just a collection, a big bowl with different kinds of rice. We yeah. have fufu from Nigeria, we have uh, from Indonesia, whatever I had today, oh, yeah. wonderful. Like we have a bowl of people that just meet here to make art and art and art. Yeah. So basically my experience as a musician now in Dubai, yeah. I feel this is actually a very, very great opportunity for yeah. any musician out there. Yeah. Like being in Dubai and getting a platform to actually perform in Dubai, yeah. that's life-changing yeah yeah and I love it so much yeah yeah that's good you see I got to meet people like you ah thank you so much exactly too. yeah <laughs> I'm so happy yeah. <laughs> I am too I am and too. then okay so uh, before we just show about uh, one of a good band from my country they were, we call this last night band yeah last night band <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mario on vocal, Rizky yeah. on vocal, Fikri on bass, and uh, Aris on keyboard, and uh, Gilang on drum, and then uh, Radi and Randy, um, Randy yeah. as a guitar. Yeah. So, um, can you say something for them? Yeah, you guys are amazing. Yeah. Amazing in different ways. One, it's because you guys have the heart to actually explore music. Yeah. Which someone can tell from the genres of music they're doing. Yeah, yeah. It's different. Because if it was anybody else, 
he would have said, okay, let me just settle for Indonesian music. Yeah. But then again, these guys are exploring music out there. Like the track I was just listening to, oh, beautiful. Beautiful, uh, you said Mario? Yeah, Mario. Oh, wonderful voice. Yeah, I know it. It's yeah, good, the pianist and everything. So what I can just say to them is, they should just keep on doing whatever they are doing. Yeah. There is no shortcut yeah. to actually making it in the music industry. Yeah. You have to serve time. You have yeah. to serve for a while before you actually achieve whatever you want to yeah. achieve. So whatever they are doing, that is practice. Exploring music, yeah. listening to different genres of music, like exploring every aspect of music, be it jazz, be it neo soul, be it everything. They, just, they should just keep on doing that because actually that's the only way to go. Yeah. That's the only way that the world can identify with you as a yeah. musician. Yeah. The only way the world identifies you is if you play the genre of music they are familiar with. So let's say I say I am a rock guitarist. I can play any kind of music. Only rock artists will identify with me mm. and rock fans. Yeah. But let's say I say I play neo soul. I play jazz. I play African music. I yeah. play a bit of Indonesian music. Mm. Everybody's gonna know me. Yeah. Everybody's gonna love me. So you guys are amazing. I've loved your songs. I will be doing covers of your songs soon. Yeah. Yeah. So just keep on. I'm loving it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're Besides. welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. How do you handle head speech? Head speech. Yeah. How do I handle head speech? So uh, in Africa. We usually say, usilolijua ni kama usikuagiza. This means what you don't know doesn't hurt you. So, head speech, you don't know the person. You don't know where he's from. He doesn't know you. He, you guys uh, probably just met on social media. So, the only way to handle head speech is to actually ignore head speech. Yeah. Because like it or not, if your grace is moving, you will move. Like it or not, if you are to get famous, you will get famous. Yeah. Like it or not, if you're good, your music is good, it's good. So whatever anybody says should not actually get to you. Yes. What is your future plan for the next For my, oh, my future plan is to actually be a solo renowned guitarist. Mm. You guys have seen the, the likes of Steve Vai, you guys have seen the likes of Eric Clapton, John Mayer. Ah, yeah. These are guys that just play guitar and people love their music because yeah. of the guitar. Yeah. I want to do something like that because not every day I'm going to play for artists. Because playing for artists is supporting their art. What about my art? Oh, yeah. I need a way out too. So that is basically my future plan. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Zach. You're welcome. It's really, really good time with you today. Make me so say. wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you are wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for your time. Thank you. Too. Thank you for all of your kindness yeah. for us. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. The okay. pleasure is all mine. Okay, so yeah, guys, thank you for watching and see you next episode. Bye bye. See you guys. Bye bye. Like, these are too many people here watching me play. Yes. So uh, I'd say I I kind of froze. Mm. I got frozen and I got afraid and scared and nervous. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah. sweating all over yeah, or yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah. But after the first song, I guess mm -hmm. you just realize that this is exactly everything.